I know it isn't very complicated at this stage, but as the lessons progress, we will increase the difficulty level. So it's really important that you get the foundation really, really strong before moving on. And what I'd like to focus on this lesson is just the syntax that we're using and tracking and debugging and have a look at things that can go wrong. So you saw in the last lesson that if we don't write the code correctly, for example, if I don't finish with a semicolon, we get this highlighted in red and it picks up the error for us. Now, if your code didn't turn red, you didn't get the underline, it didn't pick up the errors, there are one or two tools you can install in Visual Studio Code to make your life a lot easier. Now, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got this little cog wheel, gear wheel, and in there, you can click on that and click on Extensions, or press Shift, Command, X, and if you're on a Windows machine, it should be Shift and Control and X. And as you can see, I've got four extensions installed. Now you can search for extensions and probably the one I'd recommend is PHP in Tele and it's in Tele Fence. It should pop up straight away. There it is. And when you click on that, it's by Ben Muburn. And all you need to do is just click on install. Now, because I've already got it installed, it says disabled, but just click on install. It takes a few seconds and then you're all set. Now the other one I've got installed here is auto close tag and that will just close HTML tags for me and we will be doing a little bit of HTML. I've got auto rename tag, you probably won't need that. And then there's this one prettier which actually just prettifies the code so it just gets everything lined up. And again, I'd probably recommend you don't install that straight away. I think it's good practice for you to get used to prettifying your code yourself. And we're not going to be writing a huge script, so it's quite easy to manage these snippets of code anyway. Okay, back to my Explorer window here. And I'll just close these windows. Okay, so we're back to index.php. Now, although we've got these tools to help us pick up errors in our code, I believe it's really important for you as a beginner to build up a really strong foundation and to be able to pick up and see the errors in your own code. The more you code, the more you'll get used to the different colors. And when a color is wrong, it's incorrect, you will pick it up straight away. Now, if you recall in the last video, we talked about the closing PHP tag, which was question mark and right angle bracket. And I said that we shouldn't include that closing tag if we only have PHP code. Now, PHP code is usually tightly integrated with HTML, so we need to be able to come into one and out of the other. And I'm just going to show you what happens when we don't include that PHP closing tag if we have HTML. And again, don't worry about the HTML. We're focusing on PHP, but I just thought I'd show you what happens. So for example, if we have a, a HTML page, a very simple HTML page, and I'll just uh, throw one together like that. All I did is I pressed the exclamation mark and then pressed my tab key. A little bit of a shortcut there for, for those who are experienced coders. What we've got here in this body section, this is what appears on the screen. And again, don't worry about this code. So if I wanted to say again, hello world, and if I save my file, go to my browser and refresh, we get an error. And the error, well, obviously we've got an error. You can see all the error codes here. The error is because we didn't close the PHP tag. So PHP code has to be wrapped with an opening tag and a closing tag. And as soon as I put that closing tag in, those errors disappear. Now, if I go back to the browser and refresh, we get hello world and hello world. The first hello world is obviously from the PHP script and the second is from the HTML. Now, you might be thinking that when I view this code on this page here, and we can do that, we can go to view, developer and view source. You might be thinking that what I see is actually that code, but it's not. What I will see is the following, developer and view source. I will only see HTML. So if we look at that, this here is the HTML that we had down here. But this PHP code 
all it's printed out for us is just hello world. So PHP code is actually processed at the server end. It's converted to HTML and then it's sent to the user, the viewer as HTML. Now, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. I just thought I'd point that out because uh, students do tend to ask sometimes. But the point to make in this lesson really is to try and identify when you have errors in your code, keep your code clean. And as the scripts tend to get a little bit longer, I'll be showing you how to format your code correctly. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.